What is up, YouTube? I'm Devon DaVinci, leader of the Renaissance Crew, and you're watching DaVinci Reacts. Uh, today I have a request that was made by uh, one of my moderators. I believe it was 90s Kid, right? And they requested that I check out a scene from a TV series called Top Gear. Now, I know a lot of people know about Top Gear. Uh, it was something that was requested when uh, I was doing my list of shows I should react to. And it didn't make it to the the voting portion but it was something i've seen a couple people request um this is not the full episode this is a segment it's called run out of alabama um let's see what it has to offer now normally i'm not really a big fan of car themed shows i'm not really a car type of person or at least not like i don't find a lot of entertainment in it as far as like nascar things like that and truthfully i don't know exactly what this thing has to offer for all i know it doesn't talk about that maybe it's just a show where they just talk about cars in general but um let's check this out and see what it has to offer i don't know what to expect <laughs> so don't hate me if i don't get the most out of it because like i said i'm not really a big car fan but we'll see we shall see challenge time <sighs> lose five pounds in one hour yep sweat it away <sighs> come on then no OK, it says here we must not be shot or arrested as we drive across the proud state of Alabama, but that we will get bonus points if we can get one of the others shot or arrested. I don't understand. How do we do that? You will therefore... This dude right here, he kind of reminds me of um, Quentin Tarantino. And a dude in the middle reminds me of... Uh, why, am I for, uh, why am I whiffing on his name right now? The dude that played Albert in um, the Batman Dark Knight series, or the you know the the Nolan Batman movies, you know the 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 one British dude. What what the hell was his name? I know it too. It's going to come to me at some point, but y'all know who I'm talking about. Or arrested. I don't understand. How do we do that? You will therefore decorate one another's cars in such a way to draw maximum attention to yourself in this. Bible bashing redneck deeply Christian part of the union. Decorate. I think what it means is we each have to write slogans on the other one's car. So you To get them killed. Yeah. So All right. you do Hammonds, take it away into the bushes. I'm you doing do yours. I'm getting you killed. <laughs> I've got a Well, come on. Oh. Yeah. South for South. It is. It's Christian, short hair, they don't like communists. What is closest to their heart? Got a Communist is the least of your words. As a black man, there are places in the South I will not go to. I don't give a damn how much someone wants to try to be like, oh yeah, but it changed. Fuck that. But certain backwood areas of the South, I'm not fucking with in any regard. <laughs> Getting killed, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'll be letting you down, me down, everybody down. <laughs> Revenge for all those hype gags. Every time he's called me hamster. This is for every time you've been late and lost. Can you tell what it says yet? James, I hate you for that. Well, just I think really about hate it. You for that. all the times you drove into the back of my Cadillac. He's like yeah, Anthony you know, Bourdain actually, mixed with the honestly, dude that played Albert. Honestly, we've a good job here, but I do believe that the person most likely to be shot is indeed Hammond. I think the what you've done there, James, is killed your friend. Oh, yeah. Alfred. I said Albert. What the hell am I talking about? Gingerly, we Alfred. rejoined the open room. Damn, I'm stupid. Three religions down here. Oh, George Bush. Albert. I can't believe that. God, <laughs> wow. country and western. In that Swift order. on both names. Ascending order. I, I don't really understand what that's it. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I'll be honest, I have felt less conspicuous than this. <laughs> Here we are, sweet home Alabama. Really for, okay. Hillary for president is number one. That's the, going to be the most offensive one. Um, the man love one is probably number two. 
even though it comes off as kind of like jokey. Like somebody, if I were if I were not in on it and I looked and saw that and I was and I put my mind, if I put my mind in the mindset of somebody from the south, I would think of that as like a joke. Uh, the other one I just could not read. It was too much, too many damn words. Something you're forgetting is that stereotypically people in the south do not like to read a lot. So you already fucking up to begin with. But nobody's gonna take the time to read all that shit, especially when you're driving by. And you fucked up. They've shot their own sign. <laughs> what are they going to do to us? <laughs> I'm by. <laughs> to understand what Jeremy's actually done to my car, you have to remember that this is deep Republican territory. That woman is the arch Democrat. She's the Antichrist. Antichrist. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just the slogan, it's the fact that it's painted on a pickup, symbol of the South. I mean, I. Oh! <laughs> he got scared. <laughs> And then Jeremy has written on NASCAR the fruit, sucks. NASCAR sucks. Now that's the type of saloon car racing that he's... Okay, why... This this is just a, a, a lazy job. You couldn't take the time to move the entire... Like, why'd you start the end so far in the middle and then, like, by the time you hit the S, you should have known something was very wrong. <laughs> you should have known, like, oh, man, this isn't going to, like, span out well. Let me take the remaining three letters and try to even it out so they all can fit in together. No, you just went straight up to the A and was like, oh, don't have enough room. <laughs> how are you How are you that bad at determining, like, space? And then Jeremy has written on the boot, NASCAR Looks like it says NASCAR. That's the type of saloon car racing that is very, very big in this part of the world. This is where all the drivers come from, all the building of the cars is done, all the supporters come from down here. And to say it sucks, it's a bit like going and got, punching somebody's sainted mother. You could have got the same effect with just a Hillary Clinton bumper sticker. Goodbye, no, Western no. Rebel. No. I don't even know if people in the South would take offense to the goodbye Western rubbish thing. They'd probably think you were talking about people in California or something. Which will probably be something that would help you because the South and California, they're, they don't see eye to eye. People look at California as like, they associate with mainly like Los Angeles and stuff. And that's usually where like liberals and the uh, people like that tend to live. So yeah, they, they probably applaud you for that one. We'd survived the highway, but then we had to pull into a town for fuel. Oh. We will lock your car around here. Oh, this is really terrifying. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just, um, that's diesel. <laughs> that's, that's diesel. Hillary for president, but that's not going down well. <laughs> that Hillary one is the this worst. This lady was cross, but not as cross as the garage's owner. <laughs> now, are y'all gay looking to see how long it takes to get beat up in a hick town? I'm not gay, I'm married. I've got three children. Uh, no, we're not. No. We just sort of decorated our cars in a distinctive manner. NASCAR sucks, country and western is rubbish. Guess what, you're in a hick town, man. We're gonna die now, Don't that's it. <laughs> she said she was gonna she get off. the boys. <laughs> so we decided to scarp her. I've just remembered, I've actually got loads of petrol. <laughs> Oh, they'd have probably been more offended with the term the petrol. Oi, jump leads. You're joking, jump leads. Not now. This is going to be the quickest jump in history. Yeah. Where are you? you get the lead, I'll start it. Now you're trying to be tears off my parking lot again. The rednecks arrived. We 
We've just got a slight problem here. <laughs> this is bad. Then they turned on the film crews. Rocks started pelting our vans. We <laughs> <laughs> like your car around here. You're different. It's like no, this doesn't represent everybody from Alabama, of course. <laughs> but there's some backwood areas that are. For the backwards. next few moments, our TV program became a radio show. I wonder if they're following him. Something's going on here, I'm telling you, because these three trucks that were in the petrol station have now just torn past us. We need to get these slogans off, lads. Get the other side. <laughs> just start <laughs> racing it. <laughs> <laughs> With the artwork gone, we hit the road. You chickened out, Hard. man. You chickened out. I'm doing something I never thought I'd do. I am running for the border. God in heaven, that was actually frightening. They could have killed us. They really do have an irony of efficiency. I honestly believe oh, that in certain parts of America now, people have started to mate with vegetables. <laughs> okay yeah that, that was funny no it is kind of sad because like i said it doesn't represent everybody in the country it doesn't represent everybody in the state um it's just there are parts of the country where there are some ignorant ass people and in the south it tends to be a little more concentrated so you have to watch where you go some people are still extremely backwards and will take offense, despite the fact that they claim to be the ones to get mad at people that take offense to stuff. They're the ones that take offense the uh, most. And usually hip hypocrisy of that level tends to be reserved to only the most ignorant of people. I mean, then again, this is a reality show. For all I know, all this shit could have been staged. But um, yeah, that, that was funny. Now, if there are any other segments like this, I'd like to check them out. Um, so if you have any other recommendations, leave them in the comment section down below and I will see if, you know, I get around to them one day. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'm Devon DaVinci. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Um, I certainly did. It, it, it's a unique idea. Like I said, it's a reality thing. Normally I tend to be very reserved for reality shows. Like they always come off as extremely fake to me. So I don't really... I don't really believe, I'm very skeptical when it comes to reality shows, but this was still entertaining though. Like I said, it, it, the Hillary thing is the one that was probably the most offensive in my mind to like, what I would assume they would consider the most offensive, the Hillary thing. <laughs> um, the reason why I think this might be staged is because it seems like they got a little bit too offended at the idea that somebody was gay. <laughs> All the car said was man love is okay. Like it didn't, it didn't like attack anything. It just like defended something. So I was like, okay, that seems kind of weird. It's one thing if they like talking shit about people that weren't gay or something, but I don't know. I'm very skeptical. Very, very, very skeptical. I, I would have imagined the Hillary thing would have been the one that like really triggered them. But with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to give you guys the deuces. I look forward to seeing you guys in a future video. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. That's the best way you can support my channel. And be sure to check out Top Gear. I will have a link for their channel in this video somewhere around here. And always, the original link is in the description box down below. And, you know, make sure to give it a watch. Now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to give the deuces. I'm out. Deuces.